What's up, chickies? It's Baron. Today we're going to be talking about the merch man again and some prices and whatnot. But before we get into it, check out the Discord in the description. All the links, all the discounts, use them, and we're going to get straight into it. So, as you can see, the merchant man, you know, with the size that it is, is fairly decently priced. So, if you haven't seen this, this is hangar.link. This is the site that uh, Star Jump and Starlet's working on to do the fleet viewer and whatnot. So as we can see there, the merch man is worth about $550. And so I bring this up because the size of the ship compared to its bigger, well, com companions, like the Kraken, the Idris and whatnot, brings to the table what the price of this ship will be. It's only $550 at the moment. Just think about that for the size that it is. And if you haven't got one, maybe consider getting one if you think about, if you're considering putting that much money into the game. Now, I'm not telling anyone to get it, but I'm just going to say that this is going to be difficult to get in game. It might go up a lot in price because every sale since has it's been going up $50. So <clears throat> I got it at $400, obviously. It's $550 now, which is insane. The Orion obviously isn't really worth that much. It's like $575. The Kraken, Privateer, and the Krakens, they're worth around um, the 2100 dollars mark. And then the Idris P is worth about $1,500. Idris M, can't get that anymore. $890 jump, $950. The Pioneers, $850. And then you got the Polaris, which is $750. So I'm using the Polaris as well because obviously it is smaller than the Merchantman. Um, it's a torpedo boat, has size 10s where the Merchantman's a lot bigger, has those size 8s on the side of it, and then it's got all the point defense turrets, and then you've got size 5 on the very top. Then you've got the hull D under it, the 890 jump, and so forth. So <clears throat> we see within that medium price of where does this ship sit in terms of pricing? Because the Pioneer. That's what? That's $850 still, and it's smaller than the Merchantman. But again, it's the only thing with the Merchantman is it's brought across the wings. It's like just a straight pointy ship, pretty much. So I'm not saying that this ship will go to the price that I'm saying it might go to. I'm just saying there's a good indication there that it's going to go up another 100 maybe $150. And that's just an, a guesstimation. So come Invictus, I would say it would go up another 50. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it went up more because obviously it's in active development right now and it seems when the ships are in active development, the price seems to go up just a little bit or if they've improved it or changed something. So I'm not going to say that it's going to go up another 150. I mean, it definitely can happen. But I'm just saying that Given that the Idris, the Krakens are worth so much, and then you've got the 890 under it, which is still worth more than the Merchant Man at the size that the Merchant Man is, what can we expect for the price of this? Can we expect another $100 this year during the two sales and then come Citizen Con go up again if they do announce and release it there? I don't know. It's just there's so many infinite variables that this ship can go up in price. It can change in so many different factors. We just have no freaking clue. It's going to be one of the biggest alien ships that we know of at the moment. And it's going to be one of the most advanced, obviously. A lot of you pointed out in the comments, and I knew this already, but the merchant, the Banu, obviously pick the best of everything from every... Um, I don't know every species, every society to put on their ships. So the Merchantman has the best of everything on it. It's not some cheap ship. It has the best of everything. So keep that in your mind. Think about it. If you haven't got a Merchantman, it might be a good time to get one. I'm definitely thinking about getting a second one just to have two of them for the sake of it. But again, I can't justify paying more than what I already have paid for it in the past. So obviously that makes a little bit of sense to me. I don't know about you. Even the Hammerhead, like $725 and it's still a smaller ship. The Carrick, obviously still more than the eight, the Merchantman. But again, this can go up in price over the sales. But then once it actually comes out, it will actually go obviously to its set price and its initial price, whatever that may be. And God knows what the price will be because... Eventually, if this gets past 800, you're not going to really be able to see it. It's going to be one of those sort of ships that it may become limited hull, but there's too many of them to actually become unlimited hull ship, I would say. <clears throat> so, bringing in that argument in, I feel like this is going to be probably one of the cheapest, largest sub capitals, like cap, oh, quote unquote capitals, because it hasn't been deemed as a capital yet by CIG, but it may be. Um, 
but this may be the cheapest maybe it'll go up in price and maybe it'll go to a thousand dollars i don't know but i feel like this ship is really underquoted for the price that it is and what people have paid for it obviously being in the past that it was smaller it was a lot different and then now it's gotten larger and it's much more advanced and much more modern looking so keep that in mind i hope you enjoyed this give me something to think about give you something to think about let me know down in the comments what you think join our discord and i hope you enjoyed peace